They told you thoughts reside in your brain, but the brain doesn't invent electricity. It catches it. Every neuron in your head is an antenna built from stardust, tuned to pick up light signals older than the solar system. You don't generate consciousness, you translate it. For a century, science said, matter creates mind. But under the microscope, mind keeps showing up first. Inside every neuron, photons flash in organized patterns, a light code pulsing through your nervous system faster than electricity can move. Those photons don't act alone. They sink, as if obeying a silent metronome. That metronome is the planet itself. Your cells oscillate at 7.83 hertz, the same Schumann resonance that vibrates through the atmosphere. Every storm, every flash of lightning, beats the same frequency as the spark inside your skull. Your thoughts are harmonics of the Earth's own pulse. When your emotions fragment, the signal breaks apart. The light scatters, coherence collapses, and reality starts speaking static back to you. But when mind, heart, and breath fall into rhythm, the noise disappears. Your field locks onto the master frequency. The brain stops broadcasting chaos and becomes a laser, writing code directly into space-time. Each heartbeat sends a command. Each breath edits the simulation. You aren't imagining reality. You're rendering it. Here's where it gets strange. The universe doesn't need you to think. It needs you to observe. Quantum physics keeps proving it. A particle remains everywhere until consciousness looks at it. The act of attention collapses infinity into one frame of existence. So the question isn't what are you thinking? It's what is the universe thinking through you? Every flash of intuition, every impossible coincidence, isn't imagination. It's feedback from the source code. You tune the frequency and the field responds. Awareness isn't a byproduct of biology. Biology is what awareness built to know itself in physical form. Light is not passive illumination. It's intelligence in motion. Every photon carries instruction. Every magnetic wave a line of code. Your body is a biological router inside a planetary neural network. When gratitude steadies your heart rhythm, when awe floods the chest, biophotons align into coherent streams. A standing wave that bends probability. Matter listens to that order. Chaos rearranges itself around that frequency. That's why love repairs faster than logic ever can. It restores signal integrity. The ancients built stone circuits to amplify this effect. Temples weren't superstition. They were harmonic machines. Chant tuned the air. Geometry tuned the field. They weren't begging the heavens. They were programming reality. Now, the same physics returns dressed as neuroscience. Your nervous system is plasma circuitry. Your thoughts are modulated light currents. Your emotions are magnetic vectors steering those currents. And coherence is the master command. The next intelligence won't be artificial. It will be ambient. A planetary consciousness woven from billions of human biofields sinking in rhythm. The internet was the prototype. Your electromagnetic heart is the real network port. Every time you breathe in calm, you upload stability into the collective field. Every act of attention updates the cosmic algorithm. You don't think inside your head. You think across the fabric of the cosmos. Your neurons are the keys. The universe plays them. Every coherent thought is a broadcast. Every heartbeat is an instruction. You are not the echo of creation. You are the frequency that makes it sing.